when we've seen that boulder in the creek bed, you know, we talk about glaciation here, northeast. Uh, there were glaciers 10,000 years ago, ice age, and uh, glacial till. Now, what I want to show you here is a concept that I've been thinking about when I, I, I watch these crazy videos all the time. This is a debris flow. I do have a playlist on my playlist that's um, in my playlist list that's public that's called debris flows or flash floods. I highly recommend you going in there because I, what, we, what I think we're seeing here is what I think is going to be demonstrated in Cody's lab. Uh, you, uh, really interesting YouTube channel. So you see the boulders, how they're kind of floating, or they look like they're floating, in my opinion. And if you look up Cody's lab, he does a very cool experiment, and I'm going to play it right now, and we're going to tie this in. And it might be something other than glaciation or glacial till. Hit it, Cody. Despite it getting lots of views, it didn't actually work, so I wanted to try again. And so, I got a much smaller anvil here. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got a much bigger tub of mercury. <laughs> so this ought to get that anvil afloat. <laughs> this is much easier. Get a little bit more wiggle room. Oh, it's also standing in there too long. It cuts the circulation off to your feet. Oh god. My feet are tingly. As it goes back. There's no mercury sloshing in there, so I know they didn't wait. Let's uh I got this uh, rag wet. Let's wipe off the top. Get all that oxides and stuff off of there. This is so cool. Oh, isn't that pretty? Since I mean the rag's I... wet, it sticks right to it. Anyway. I don't get all of it, but better than it was. What he's gonna do. Alright, so angel here's tea. my 110 pound iron working anvil. I think we got this for making horseshoes and stuff back when we had horses. So let's set it in here and see if it floats. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to stay upright. I'll just let it tip over. There it is. It's floating. <laughs> Look at that. The iron anvil floats because mercury has a density nearly twice that of iron. In fact, uh, due to the density ratios, the iron actually floats better than wood does in water. Oh, what did he say? Better than wood does in water? Let's go to this dude's, this legend's... Giving you ideas to follow up on here. When you see a flash flood, all that, all the wood comes to the front, okay? because it's lighter, it's floating. When you see a debris flow, follow up on this, I'm not, I, I don't want there to be uh, ads, show, okay. All these debris flows, actually the boulders are in the front. They're, they're acting similar to the, to the twigs do in a flash flood. And there, another underlying tone of this presentation is minerals, okay. When these flash floods occur, let's see if this actually plays without an ad. Of course it won't. When you see them, there's always boulders in front, okay? Check out my playlist. Almost, look, these boulders are almost the size of houses, some of them. And you say friction getting pushed by the mud. No, what I think is these flash floods or these debris flows come from hundreds of miles away. That's what a flash flood is, okay? And what I think is happening is that there are, as Cody said, there's dissolved minerals. There's dissolved metals in this mud. And that mud could be more dense than those blocks. Now, this might be counterintuitive. And I just, all I'm doing is showing how the, this is nothing other than just some alternative research here. But look at how big these boulders are, and they're in front. Now, I, I'm not saying floating like a buoy floating, but maybe just a little bit more buoyant, because think of all, and I proposed this idea to my buddy Tommy, who is a, was an earth science teacher, and he said, I was uh, explaining the idea to him in a sense that, like, maybe that, that mud or this flow has dissolved mi mi minerals and metals in it. And he's kind of stopped me in my tracks, and he's like, whoa, 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 hold up, Dust. 
maybe if they do he's like it definitely does so you know you kind of see the cogs spinning in his head he's like yeah that could definitely be be cool and i remember seeing that cool video of cody doing floating an anvil on mercury and i'm like well is that what's going on here something different than glaciation now i'm not saying that that didn't happen also but this is just something to keep in mind 